this problem is called guess the word and uh, let's understand so we have uh, a string an array of strings or words so word 1 word 2 and these are unique uh, words so same word will not be repeated so these are all unique and all the words each of these words is six letters long So this is true for all the words in this words array. You have uh, also one helper object master, which uh, gives you an API guess. So you can call master dot guess, and you can pass any word to it of that length, same length six, and uh, it will return two things. Either it will return minus one. So if you call this uh, guess for any word that is not in this list, then it will return minus one. Or if it's in the list, it will uh, return count. Count is the number of matches with a particular word. So out of these words, one of the words is called a secret word. So we have a secret word, word uh, among one of these words. We don't know which word is a secret word, but when you call this guess function, uh, it will return the number of letters which match. So you call uh, guess for some word, let's say word three and let's say word two was the secret wor word. We don't know that. So what it will do. So word two is also six letters long word 3 is also 6 letters long so it will do character by character match not just the value of character but also the position so let's say this matches and one of the characters at fourth position matches and one of the characters at fifth position matches among this w uh, w2 or the secret word and the word that we called w3 so in this case it will return 3 if none of the characters match it will return 0 but if this uh, w3 is not in the list itself then it will return minus 1 and uh, you have to find the secret word but you can only call this guess limited number of times so there is some uh, limit allowed guesses which we don't know so there will be some limit for each of the test cases and uh, you have to uh, figure out the uh, secret word within that limit so for example let's say we have this list all of them are six letters long you can check and let's say the first word this is secret word in this case this is not known to us this is hidden which is what we are trying to find also this parameter we don't know what will be for each of the test cases so let's see a sequence of calls to guess and what the value is returned so let's say we call master.guess for a so you see that this is not in the list so it will return minus one if you call uh, with let's say this first word then it's exactly the secret word so if you do character by character match all the six characters match so it returns six so maximum value this uh, guess function can return is 6 so, so minus 1 to 6 if you call on this ACKZZ it returns 6 then uh, let's see this value C C B A Z Z and the secret word let me write it here so if you see this sixth position matches fifth position matches this does not match does not match again there is a match so in total for this call there were three matches so it returns three similarly you can verify for this call two characters will match then a b c c z z uh, four characters match that is a a then last two that is three and uh, one of these c values matches so four so uh, how we will design uh, our approach how we will approach it so that we take uh, 
less number of calls to master dot guess of course if you call for each of the words uh, then ultimately one of these will be secret word but you may exhaust that limit so we cannot do that brute force we have to do better so what is the approach is that this is our words so there is a words list it has different words w1 w2 w3 w4 there can be many more uh, and there is secret word let's say w3 this is secret word so we can randomly pick one of these words so first step would be pick a random word w from words so it will be one of these so the way to do that would be to generate a random number from 0 to number of words n minus 1 and then get the word at that index and then so w is the word that we picked randomly then do a match on uh, sorry we can call this master dot guess on w so it will return some value uh, let's say it returns match match is the variable and it holds some value from minus uh, actually it will not be minus one since we are only picking from the list so it should return some value from 0 to 6 both inclusive so this is the second step and then the third step is that if match is 6 then we found the secret word then that means w was the secret word so we return from this function no need to make further calls to guess because uh, we don't want to waste this guess calls so we return from here but if uh, the other case will be that match is less than 6 and that is the fourth case so let's say match was some value uh, m or let's take a specific example let's say the match was 2 it cannot be more than 5 because if it's 6 we will return so let's say two characters match for this given word w so now we know that uh, whatever is the secret word among these words two characters exactly match with value and position with this word w so what we will we'll do we can eliminate all the other words so first we will do a match of w with w1 so we can write a match function which does character by character match so match w with w1 if it's exactly equal to 2 then we include this w1 to the list of candidate words candidate secret words include w1 to it again call match for w with w2 let's say this time the match so let's say this time the match was 2 so we included now the match is let's say 3 so we will not include it because we know that whatever is the secret word only two characters match similarly do for uh, match with w3 w4 so whatever for whatever word the there was exactly two characters matching in value and position we include in the candidate so now we have a new candidate list so initially all the words were candidate words for secret word but after one call we reduced it so this is the new candidates again call it uh, randomly so uh, uh, this character itself will not be included so whatever was called earlier because um, word by word match between w and w will be 6 so automatically this will not be included in the next candidate so this is now filtered out so now again make the call so let's say this time the match was 4 so among these again a scan so for whatever word we made the call we will check how many characters matches with all the words in this candidate list so for whatever word the match was not 4 we remove them from the candidate list so again it will reduce or ultimately 
uh, either the list will become empty or the secret word will remain or it will return uh, prematurely when we randomly picked the secret word by chance then it will return from there itself so uh, let's run through it so initially we call guess so initially all the words are candidate words now we call on let's say this word randomly e i o w z z and the guess function returns uh, if you do z and z match so two position w does not match o i e not, does not match so it returns two now we scan this so we call for this we match between these two first two characters match so we include a c c k z z in the candidate list then we come here we do a match between these two z z is two w a again so we include this in the list as well then if we do match with this the return value will be six so we will not include then we do a match here so again there is a match of two so now this is the new candidate let's say randomly we pick this value so it will return uh, if you do z z c does not match this c matches this b does not match then a matches so again we made a guess with a b c c z z and it returned four now do a match of this word with all the other words and see whether there is a match of four characters so these two there will be match of four so we will include in the candidate list these two c does not match c does not match b does not match a does not match so it returns two so we will again not include it so now the candidate list has just one word if we call guess again on this it will return six so we are done so this is how we will do so uh, let's write the code for this so this is a lead code hard problem and so uh, or don't bother if you don't get it in uh, first attempt and it has been asked uh, many times in google interviews so first uh, what we will do uh, we will generate random numbers so we can seed the random number with current system time you can also have some other strategy like you always pick some middle value or first value but it's better to have a random uh, so let's uh, have the list of candidates let's define it candidates so we include all the words in the candidates list initially So now all the words are part of candidate then what we do while candidate is not empty so we will pick one of the words randomly so we have to pick a number between 0 and uh, words dot size or candidate dot size so this candidate size will change every time so we will take size of that minus 1 
is one of the random numbers and then we index on this value so we will take modulo candidates dot size so it will return a value between 0 and candidates dot size minus 1 now we have this uh, word and we have to find how many characters match with the secret word so we will call master dot guess and we will pass this word then what we have to do uh, we will compare it with all the other words in the candidate if so we have to also define a match function so we will be calling that match function now let's call it find matches and then we have a string word 1 word 2 initially count is 0 then we know that these words are of length 6 you can also have w1 dot size but we know the length so we can directly use 6 if w1i is equal to w2i then character at this position matches so we increment count and finally return count now we will make call to this function find matches with w and whatever was this candidate word for which we called the guess so if uh, this gives exactly number of matches whatever was returned by guess then this is a candidate for uh, this uh, secret word so this candidate will be updated so either we can remove it uh, or it's a vector so better create a new temporary vector and which will be the new candidate vector so we will assign it back to candidates so we can push it to temp so this temp will become the new candidate and then so which will be of lower size uh, so we did not add that check for 6 let's add it so once we make the call we can check here if match is equal to 6 then no need to make further calls we can return and that's it let's try So it should be vector of a string because it it's holding the words so the output is you guessed the secret word correctly let's submit to check if all the test cases pass and the solution is accepted and if you see it's faster than 100% of the submissions